Hey guys, welcome back to Office 365 Concepts. In today's video, we are going to learn how to manage guest access in Teams Admin Center. We will explore the guest access settings. We will learn how to allow guest accounts to collaborate with internal users and how to restrict guest access using Teams Admin Center and Microsoft Entra ID. To manage guest access in Teams Admin Center, you will expand users and click Guest Access. With guest access, you can provide or restrict access to the external users to teams, documents in channels, chats and applications. Anyone with a work account or a personal account can join a team in your organization. However, before you add a guest user within teams, you need to invite a guest user within your organization. If you want to know how to invite a guest user in Azure AD tenant, please refer to the video that you can see on your screen. You can find the link for this video in the description of this video as well. Under guest access in Teams Admin Center, you can configure the guest access settings for the guest accounts, including calls, meetings, and chat. By default, you will see this option to on. When this option is set to on, people within your organization can invite guest users to access Teams and channels within your organization. If you turn this option to off, guest accounts will not be able to sign into teams using their guest accounts next is calling from where you can control if the guest users can make team calls to the users under meeting you can control if the guest users are allowed to use video within the teams calls or in the teams meetings you can also control if the guest users are allowed to share their screen within the meeting or in a call if you click this drop down arrow next to screen sharing you will find three settings if you select not enabled, this will restrict the guest users from sharing their screens within the Teams meetings or within Teams calls. If you select single application, the guest users can share only one screen at one time. They will not be able to share their entire screen. And if you select entire screen, then the guest users will be allowed to share their entire screen within a Teams meeting or within a Teams call. You can also control if the guest users are allowed to use Meet Now feature within the Microsoft Teams. Under messaging, you can control the settings that will be applicable to the guest users when they will communicate through Teams chat or within Teams channels. You can control if the guest users are allowed to edit their sent messages within a chat. You can control if the guest users are allowed to delete their sent messages. You can control if the guest users are allowed to delete a complete chat. You can also control if the guest users are allowed to search the users within the Teams application and are allowed to send messages to these users. You can control GF settings for them. You can control if they're allowed to use memes, stickers, and you can control if they are allowed to use Immerse Reader option within Teams. Immerse Reader is a feature in Teams that is used to hear the messages. It basically reads the messages. Next is external access. Under this option, you can allow your users to communicate and do meetings with the external users who are using Microsoft as identity provider. If you click this drop down arrow, you can see four options here that you can use to configure external access. Each external option has both organization settings and user policies. That means you can apply these settings on the organization level and on the user level. The settings that you apply from Teams Admin Center are applied on the organization level and the user policies determine which users can use the options that you have configured at the organization level. For example, if a user wants to communicate with external users, you need to allow that feature for the user at organization level and on the user level. Under this option, you can allow your users to communicate with other Microsoft 365 organizations through chat or meetings, or you can allow or block specific domains so that your users can communicate only with them. The first option is allow all external domains. This is the default value. If the external access is configured to allow all external domains, your users can find, call, chat, and set up meetings with the people. Those are outside your organization. Your users can communicate with all external domains that are running Teams or Skype for Business as long as the other organization has also enabled external access. The next option is allow only specific external domains. By adding domains to the allow list, you limit the external access to only the allowed domains. 
if you add a domain in allow list all the other domains will be blocked for example if i want to allow my users to communicate only with one specific external domain i will click this option and then we will click add external domains and here i will type one external domain now my users will only be able to communicate with this domain only through teams they will not be able to communicate with any other external domain through microsoft teams the third option is block only specific external domains by adding domains to a block list you can communicate with all external domains except the one that you have blocked here once you set up a list of blocked domains your users will not be able to communicate with the domains those are added within the block list but they can communicate with the other external domains and the last option is block all external domains if you do not want to allow your users to communicate with any external domain through microsoft teams select this option and click save your users will not be able to communicate with any external domain through microsoft teams apart from this you can also choose if you want to enable or disable chat with the external users who are not using microsoft teams if you want to allow the external users who are not using microsoft teams to start the conversation with your users you can leave this option checked or you can uncheck this as per your requirement and if you want to allow your users to communicate with the external users who are using skype for business you can leave this option to on apart from microsoft teams admin center there are other platforms as well from where you would require to manage guest access and external collaboration one of these platforms is microsoft entra id in microsoft entra id portal expand manage click external identities and click external collaboration settings under guest user access you can control what sort of access you want to give to the guest users the guest users will have the same access as member users or they will have limited access or should be controlled as per their organization policies under guest invite settings you can control who can invite the guest users within your organization you can allow everyone to invite the guest users you can allow member users and administrators to allow the guest users only the administrators can invite the guest users within your organization or no one within the organization can invite guest users under external user leave settings you can allow the guest users to remove them from your organization if you turn this option to off then if the guest user wants to leave your organization he would require an approval from the administrator of your organization and under collaboration restrictions we can specify to which domains the user are allowed to send invitations to the external users we can allow for all the domains we can block specific domains or we can allow specific domains apart from this you can also control if the guest users are allowed to access the teams content to control this setting you will go to microsoft 365 admin center and you will go to settings and click org settings and here you will look for microsoft 365 group and open this here you can see this option that says let guest group members access group content if you uncheck this option the guest users will not be able to access the content within the groups they can access the file that is directly shared with them but they will not be able to access the files or the content those are shared within the groups or they will not be able to receive emails within the groups as we discussed in one of the previous videos that microsoft teams content like files folders or documents are stored within sharepoint online if you want to allow the guest users to access these files you need to configure the external sharing policies within sharepoint online in sharepoint online admin center expand policies and click sharing if you want to allow the guest users to access the teams content make sure the content can be shared with setting is set to anyone or new and existing guest under file and folder links you can control how users can share files with the external users or how external users are allowed to access the shared files if you select anyone with the link then any external user with whom you will share a file can access it if you select only people in your organization then only the users of your organization can share files with each other and if you select specific people then the users of your organization can share files 
with anyone they choose. But if your users share a file with guest users or the external users, the guest users will require to authenticate themselves. All these settings are organization level settings. You need to make sure the same settings are configured on the site level as well so that you can collaborate with the guest users. Within SharePoint Admin Center, expand sites, go to active sites and open any team site. Select it and click sharing. And under external sharing, make sure anyone or new and existing guest is selected. So that is all for now. If you found this video informative and helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel. And if you have questions or suggestions, feel free to write them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.